Improvisation is a specific form of comedy involving mainly short scenes that a few people simply make up on the spot without prior rehearsal or planning. I took an introductory course on improvisation last year and I want to share with you some of the principles of improvisation that I learned as I believe they have direct application to living well and with ease. I will share the six, well, six principles of improvisation, drawing out how they apply to how we can approach life as we go, okay? So the first principle is play. For each of the principles, I'm gonna share a quote from the short handbook from my course. So here's the first one. Improv is for fun. It's all about playing games, making up scenes and stories, being various characters, going on adventures and playing. So as kids, we inherently know how to play, but as we grow up, we forget. We can become quite serious and forget the joy, wonder and playfulness of life itself. In another way, we can consider what, that whatever we choose to do in life is us playing out a character that we have chosen to take on. Our true self is the I am awareness within, but this outer world is simply the clothing we have made choices in consciousness to wear. Let's move on to the second principle you're allowed to make mistakes. So here's the quote. You don't get punished for mistakes in improv. There is no report card, grading system, or detentions. Mistakes can often lead to a whole new thing in a scene and be can become the best bit. I can tell you that this is such a relief in improvisation. In our class, we even took some time to tell each other at the start of a lesson, it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. I'm okay with making mistakes. If only we said such things to each other in our lives more often, and if only we would say it to ourselves more day to day. In life, we can take mistakes too seriously. We can think there is a right and a wrong thing to do, but instead a great learning for us is that there are no mistakes. Mistakes in improv are embraced, incorporated into the scene or game and treated like an amazing opportunity. And this is so true. Sometimes a mistake in an improvisation scene turns into the best part of the scene. It can become the moment that transforms a scene into something wonderful. So could that be true <clears throat> for mistakes or rather your perceived mistakes in your life? Consider how you can be more open in your consciousness to mistakes. Can you believe them to be opportunities that can transform a moment into something wonderful? All is consciousness. It is possible to experience mistakes like this. So our third principle that I learned was the following. You are in collaboration, not competition. Your scene partner is in collaboration with you, not competition. You're not trying to outwit each other. You're playing together to discover new worlds and characters. Often beginning improvisers, which I guess I still am, are trying to do well and even do better than others. But we get invited to let all of that go. It is not a competition, but a fun shared experience in which improvisers work together. 
So is this how you approach your life? Through school and through sport, we are taught to compete often, but true joy and unity comes from collaboration and seeking to move forward together and in harmony. This too is a principle that we can seek to cultivate in our life for our benefit and for the benefit of those around us. So our fourth principle is kind of obvious, but is often overlooked. Listen. Be kind and open and listen. Listen to what people say in scenes, not just a bit, but right to the end of their line. That's often where the gold is. Be as present as possible. Try not to plan what you're going to say or try and second guess the game or what your team might, might say. You won't be able to. And that's part of the joy. It's one of the few times in your life you're actively asked to be unprepared. Celebrate that freedom. So listening is so important. It links very much to releasing control. The reason people often don't listen is that they're trying to control. Uh, they're trying to control how they come across. In improv, they may want to have a, a funny line. In life, often people want to sound smart or, or not look out of place. So instead of listening, they think ahead and plan out what they say or do. Yet true life is found in fully engaging with others, listening intently, and then allowing your response to flow from you authentically without control. We'll turn now to the fifth principle of improvisation. This is a core learning in improvisation and is simply referred to as yes and. So the quote, agree with the reality your scene partner presents you with and add something that explores that moment. You don't have to add loads, just add the next offer and then go offer by offer through the scene. In improv, for this principle, you respond to what your scene partner offers you, firstly with yes and, and then you build on their offer with your own. Think about how that could apply in your life. It is such an open way to be, accepting what another person gives to you and then seeking to work with it and then build upon it. It is a principle of accepting others and working in harmony with them. Yes, and. Uh, so the sixth principle that I was taught in improvisation that we will discuss today is commit. Here's the quote. You can say the first thing that comes to you. You don't have to edit yourself as long as you are coming from a place of support for your fellow improviser. Your impulses are great. Trust them and let them out. This is about going for it and not analyzing your impulses before speaking and acting. It encourages you to let go of your filter of perceived acceptability, to let go of your fears of not being good enough. It also encourages choice to commit and to move forward. How many people stifle their life through self-editing, pulling back, and not making decisions. This principle is really the key to it all. You step up and you let life flow through you. 
So these are the principles I learned from my improvisation course. There's many other principles, I'm sure, as well. But these are key ones that have made a difference for me and have resonated with me. I embarked on my course for this very reason. I know how I have lived in my head within my life. And I wanted to take an opportunity to release this and to learn to flow more in my interactions. Doing the course was so much fun. We all together on the class supported each other incredibly, and we laughed and enjoyed ourselves so much. So I encourage you in building these principles of improvisation into your life. The more you can bring them into your life day to day, the more freedom, more fun, more flow and synchronicity you will experience. Consider your interactions with a colleague or a friend as a playful, fun improvisation scene. See how it changes the interaction. See how it feels. And why not join an improvisation course? You'll learn a lot and you'll simply have fun. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.